Hello everyone, Tutu Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. Today we're gonna take a moment to reset from desk sitting, from computer looking at, from all the ways that we're just holding our devices and staring at a screen. Because that can equate to feeling kind of tense through the wrists and the hands. They can also feel like a lot of pressure around the eyes, face, and the back of the head. So we're gonna tend to those spaces here and you don't need any props. You don't even have to get up from your desk chair unless you'd like to. We're gonna start with the hands. So I wanna first call your attention to the joints that we have in our hands. You'll notice that you've got three joints through these four fingers, but you only got two for the thumb. And I wanna first call our attention to this first row of joints. So let's take a moment and move that first joint. So I'm placing my thumb right beneath that joint of the thumb here. So you can feel or you can see that this is the space that we're moving. I'm just applying a little pressure and we're just allowing this knuckle, this joint to move a little bit. And we're gonna do that through all of our fingers. And if it feels a little tender, scale back on the pressure. There are a lot of reasons why it might feel a little bit tender. So just kind of be led by what pressure feels okay and moving down that row giving yourself a little pressure here because we want to feel like we're getting a little movement of the bones of the hands. And we're moving right down the row. And let's take that to the other side. Same thing, let's start with the thumb. We're finding this little joint here and I'm just placing my thumb under that joint and I'm applying a little pressure. You might notice that the side that you're mousing with or that you hold your phone with and move your thumb around a lot might be the side that feels the most tender depending on um, where which hand is dominant for you. Let's move right down the row. All right, so when you've done all of that, let's pause with both hands forward and you can either rest your elbows on the table or you can kind of keep them upright like this. But again, we're just bringing our attention to those knuckles here. And I want us to again, find this row that we were just working with. And I'm gonna show you with one hand, but you can do one at a time or two, just depending on what feels like you can focus on it. But we're just going to move that one row. I've got my thumb out, kind of like a little hitchhiker thumb, but we're gonna take that down and back up. Moving that joint independent of the others. If you're doing it one at a time, make sure you take that to the other side. You can do them both together, but make sure that you can take the time to focus on what it is that we're doing, because we're doing this for your hand, but all the way up the chain to your neck, up the arms, to the shoulders, is gonna make a difference. So let's take just one more here, moving that row. And then we're gonna come back to the noticing of all of the different joints. And we're gonna start now with the first two. So we're gonna take just that first joint and second joint moving. Notice how we're not moving the third. And then we're gonna take it back up. Bringing them down and up. Down and up. Both sides, down and up. Now, if this feels really weird, I mean, sure, we never do this with our fingers, but if it feels uh, harder than you might realize, that hand dexterity is something that we really need to work on, especially if we are constantly holding devices or kind of gripping or clawing all day long with our hands through our devices. Creating that dexterity through the hands is gonna be so important. So let's hold here and now let's engage that third row. 
bringing it back up in pieces, articulating through those joints. Let's take four more. Last one. And then go ahead and shake out your hands and your wrists. And we're gonna move to, with our thumbs, we're gonna take our thumbs to the base of our skull. So I'll just put up my hair so you can better see. I'm trying to find the little bony ridge right beneath the base of your skull. It'll start right behind your ears, but it's where the base of your spine attaches to the, or excuse me, the top of your spine attaches to the base of your skull you'll feel a little bony ridge back there, which we're tracing with our thumbs all the way up until it finds that little connection point where those two ends of the ridges come together. And we're gonna just trace that with some decent pressure. You're finding the amount of pressure that feels supportive for you. So it feel, if it feels quite tender, just scale back and take it a little less, whatever feels tolerable. And let's take that two more times. Just a little massage moment here. And then let it go. So now we're gonna find our collarbones. You'll feel a little groove on the top and on the bottom. So your collarbone connects to your sternum here, your sternoclavicular joint, but then it also connects to the top of your shoulder here. So the span of your collarbone. And we're just gonna take two fingers and you're gonna give yourself a little massage in between those two grooves. So you'll notice how one finger is getting up under that groove, the other finger is getting up under that groove. And again, tolerable pressure because sometimes this space can feel a little tender. And then we'll take that to the other side. Same thing, finding the whole span of that collarbone. And just giving yourself that little gentle massage. And when we take the time to reset some of these areas where we hold tension, we're creating the opportunity to reset our posture, reset some of that head forward that can happen when we're just sitting and staring at a screen all day. It can make a huge difference for how we feel at the end of the day. All right, so now index fingers, we're gonna find a few points along um, around the eyes. So the first point I want us to find is gonna be right um, where the kind of tip of the inside of your eye meets the bridge of your nose and let's just gently massage that space. Tolerable pressure here. You can take it down a notch, tolerable pressure. And if you have congested sinuses, ease back a little bit because that'll feel like there's even more um, tenderness. One more notch down. So where you are right now, you might feel the beginning of your cheekbone, which we can trace right on top of the cheekbone here. Let's think about this being in line with um, your iris of the eye. And then let's find that little massage moment here. And it might be a little tender in this point. So again, use that tolerable pressure here and it might feel different on each side. Okay, so we're gonna trace from this point, we're gonna go up right about here underneath the eyebrow. Again, we're in line with that iris 
tolerable pressure. Little circles. And then we're gonna take that above the eyebrow, but we're in the same line. So now we're right about here. Tolerable pressure. And go ahead and relax. We're gonna rub the palms together, generate a little bit of heat. And just gently place your palms over your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. And then we're gonna bring our hands to our ears. So feeling kind of the, um, the shape of your ear here, and let's start to take a little massage moment just down your ear using tolerable pressure. all the way to the lobe. And back up. And if your ears get a little warm or turn a little red, we're inviting some new blood flow into these spaces. And there are so many acupoints in you, along your ear. It can be like a little microcosm of the whole body. And so by doing this, we're attending to a lot of different spaces within the body as a whole. And then maybe giving yourself a little pressure and massage the back and the front of the ear here. If you've got a tense jaw, again, finding the pressure that feels supportive. And then finally, just give your ears themselves a little circle, maybe a little tug. Just kind of finding the supportive pressure and the supportive movement, because that'll feel different perhaps every day. and just let your arms relax at your sides. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice how your face is feeling, how your hands are feeling, your neck. And my invitation to you is see if you can ask yourself what your body needs while you're in this space. So does your body need to lay down and relax while you're feeling a little release of tension? Might you want to go for a little walk outside and just get the body moving a little bit? Maybe this is inviting you to hydrate, get some water or get a small snack, but see if you can in this space of a little bit more body awareness and a little bit of softening and attention to what's here to ask yourself, what does my body need in this moment? Can I take care of myself in this moment? and then returning to the rest of your day when you're ready. So I hope this mindful moment or this little attention that we can spend on ourselves to break up the work day is helpful. It can make a huge difference in how you feel at the end of your day. And I'll see you back here next time on the Wise Recharge With Us From Home series. Take care.